Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Juan of Words podcast. It's been a little while since we've been in the since we've been recording together. I feel like you're like, gonna say since we've been in the studio. Yeah, like well, our <laughs> office slash studio <laughs> slash home slash, slash everything. Yeah, <laughs> slash uh, it's our cafe gymatorium. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, it's, I feel like it's been a while since you and I sat down to record. A it, little, it's a while. been over two weeks, almost three weeks. Yeah, because you've been over, recording over with three weeks. Yeah, you've been doing a little bit of a recording on your own, I have. and. Uh, and uh, so it's been a minute since we've sat actually sat down to record. Yeah, it's been a very while, long a while. A very long while, yeah. Yeah. So did you miss me? Did you miss me recording with me? <laughs> what? You're not going to answer? You don't, you're just, you don't want to hear the truth. You're I'm just grinning. Take... You're just grinning. You're not even answering me. Yeah, because I tried to get you in here before and you just... I, I, I don't know. Lately we've been having... Lately we, it's just been... We've not been on the same page. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Regardless of like other things, we just we've been discussing other things, and I think that's gotten in the way of. That's the problem with working with uh, your partner. With your yeah, yeah with personal your spouse. personal per- issues get in the way of a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, not to like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to like lavar los trapos suizos en la on the <laughs> podcast. Yeah. But no, I mean, um, so we dodged a we kind of dodged the bullet, no this week no we didn't we didn't dodge a bullet we did we, just, we were like the hurricane everybody was like worried about a hurricane hurricane lara and there it, no, it came it just didn't land it here didn't in land houston. here in houston but yeah. there was another what was the other one's name the marco. one before Mar- marco no it's coming after it's coming no the one before lara was who what do you mean remember there was one before lara that it came by i don't know there were two, two hurricanes yeah it's coming it's called marco oh i thought it was already passed I don't know, but anyway, we supposedly Jesus like heavens. dodged the bullet because uh-huh. everybody was worried about um, that the hurricane was actually going to come here to Houston. The category four. And we had a our last bad hurricane was in 2017 was Hurricane Harvey, and it was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. So this time, some people actually evacuated, um, left the city. Yeah. But we didn't. I don't think we really did much prep this time. We were kind of like. We did a little bit. We I usually do. I, li- yeah. I usually like to keep uh, very basic necessities. But I felt like we did like a lot less than we normally would have. Like yeah. there was not like a panic. I think like before we I think we've had more of like, oh let's go find water and we couldn't find water or let's go do this and we. And I like, think everybody. There was has, a rush and I this think, time I felt like there wasn't a rush. Yeah, I think everybody has has kind of. Um, has given in to things. <laughs> yeah. People are dead at this point. There, everybody's like, "Yeah, just whatever." Yeah, <laughs> it's like, you yeah. Know, I was kind of like, I stopped watching the news because I was like, you know, I don't want to hear it. Like, if you it know, comes, uh, it comes. If it doesn't, if it comes, we'll deal you know, with it. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, I don't really want to hear the news because they're just gonna like sensationalize it and be like, it's gonna be the worst thing ever. And it was the worst thing ever. Uh, Oh, it yeah. was the worst thing ever. It just didn't. It happened not to hit us. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, but they make you. They like make. They, they. I feel like the some of the newscasts will make it seem like, like it's like. Uh, what do they call it when it's the, the um, last day or whatever? Like apocalypse. It's, yeah, like it's an apocalypse coming or something. And mm-hmm. it, it just like I don't know. So I just I was like I'm not. I'll go to. I'll go and I'll find the news when I want to. When I want to know where it is. I don't need to hear it every day all day. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah. I would go online and just like just keep keep up with it and see where it's at and see where it's at yeah. but I, I wasn't really paying attention too much to like the newscasters and and how you know yeah you're right they they do tend to they tend to over like extent yeah. of it i mean but it hit pretty hard in in lake charles yeah so for people who were affected yeah definitely we feel your pain because we you know we've been through the hurricanes before not, not so, so rough like that i mean did, yeah did you see that did you see some of those honestly pictures? i haven't really been paying attention so i haven't i seen like, some of those pictures and they it looks like yeah. oh my god it, it just devastated a lot of homes and i feel like once you've kind of gone through it like mm-hmm. it gets a lot to kind of see it over and over again even if it's not like you're you're not desensitized to it not i'm not desensitized to it i just don't like I don't know, like when you see it, it brings back a lot of memories, and it it's does. like so. I'm like, I uh, like I don't, not that I don't care about it, but I just like I'm like it, it, it like it's a process to go through the f- the reliving everything again. So okay, you're like, it, yeah. so you're like, uh, I think I'll stay. I, I'm okay. I don't need to see it right now. Yeah, I'll go look later. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but for sure. no, definitely for the people that were impacted, though. Mm-hmm. You know, we do we do um, hope that you guys are able to get back, um, and you're and that you're able to recover from this. Definitely, yeah, for sure. But what what have you been up to? I guess since the last time that we actually sat down together, me anything that you want to share? Anything that you want to not really like, talk not, about? Not anything that I I feel like I can share right now, or anything no? that 
No, definitely not. Everything I think, private. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah. Every, yeah, when I I'm the kind of person that when I'm going through it, I I I tend not to talk about things publicly. Publicly, mm. Jesus, I can't even talk. I tend not to talk about things very outwardly. Yeah. And once I'm kind of over it, or I'm getting to the point of like, oh, okay, well, you know, now I can say something. Now I can talk about this or that or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know you have a topic for today, but I I just finished editing the last episode that we're gonna air. I think before this one, mm-hmm. which was with you and Edgar, and I thought that was kind of cool that you guys did yeah. a show together. Yeah. What did you? Oh, how did that come about? Like, I just remember one day I've you just you it. guys you were just like, oh, we're gonna record, and I was like, oh, I've been, okay. I've been wanting to have first. A I was like, wait, I'm out. I'm I'm not recording. Like, I'm left out of this equation. <laughs> <laughs> I've but been, then I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Are you going to let me talk? Yeah, Jesus go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I've been wanting to record with him for a while. Like, mm. I've been... I really... I don't know. He's a very interesting character. He's a very interesting person. Because the way he perceives things and the way he talks about it is not the way my approach is. And it's especially when he wants to impress. Mm. It's a very different concept. It's a very different editor that, that we get. Right, but he's always in his mind, mm-hmm. and I noticed that a lot. Well, I listened to the conversation, and I was like, "Oh, okay, I I I, I enjoyed Did you it. Enjoy it, yeah, yeah." And what I called it, what I'm thinking of calling it, let, let me know what you think about it. it was like Gen Gen uh, Y, me Gen Z. <laughs> Gen, I'm Gen, Gen Z. Uh, no, you're Gen, Gen y. y. I'm Gen Y. Yeah, I was oh, like okay. Gen Y, me Gen Z. I was gonna put Gen X, and then I looked up the ages, and I was like, "Oh no, she's Gen Y." <laughs> I would have had him at five years old. <laughs> he would have to be like over like over 50 or something right oh. now <laughs> yeah so i was like yeah she's not gonna like that if i put gen x <laughs> but i have to look this I up because that. i, I uh-huh. have to look these things up because i don't know like it's hard to keep up with like the gen gen or whatever gen z gen the x Gen-Zers. gen y gen whatever like the genzers yeah. yeah yeah i think uh yeah i thought it was an interesting topic it's interesting conversation you can tell like you can tell the differences between me and him. Mm-hmm. Although he is very much like me, mm-hmm. you can definitely tell the differences in that conversation between him and me. Well, I, yeah, I could tell the differences, but I could also tell the similarities, I think. Yeah. Like, I think that there's a lot of similarities, too. So I was like, oh, okay. He's easy going. Yeah. He's easy going. I, I like... Oh, well, I don't know I if like, you're easy going, but yeah, he's easy going. <laughs> You know what? I took a jab at your. I'll let that one pass. I'll let that one pass. Um, but I, he, I feel like he is very easygoing. I feel like he's very, um, he's mellow. Mm. He's the mellow version of me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like we do. I we, feel he gets the mellowness for me. Like I think he learned that for me. It's definitely a, a learned trait from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is because I am not at all mellow. Yeah. You're quick to get hyped up. I'm not. <laughs> I. That's true. That's yeah. very true. I'm very quick to be, um, but they, they, you know, I just don't know how else to be. Hmm. I is who I is. It is what it is. Michelle <laughs> Obama. Yes, ma'am. It is what yeah, it we is. Were, <laughs> like we were just watching the the some of that yesterday. The, yeah, we were the, watching some of the democratic the speeches. The democratic. But uh, well, we watched the RNC one first, and then we watched the DNC one, uh-huh. and it was just like. Uh, it's been interesting to watch that. It's but been a difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and we're, we're watching all of the speeches where we're taking interest in, in both sides of things um, and then making our own observations and making giving our own opinion to each other, mm-hmm. um, which I prefer to leave out of here. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, any of both of us. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. No. So I think that, um, yeah, like uh, going back to the conversation with Edgar, uh, I feel like it, it definitely is a very... I, I don't know. He's growing into himself. He's becoming this little man. He's becoming like an I don't know. I'm I'm just a young adult. Yeah, yeah I'm very uh, taken by him as he mm. grows. I'm very I'm very interested. Uh, I, I for a while I was like this kid has no character. <laughs> this kid is not like what can you like do something, mm. sir? Can you like <laughs> dance for me or something? Can you can like you? I feel like you're not my kid. Like you're not. It, he's very embarrassed by my mannerisms sometimes. Mm. He's very taken aback by them. He's like, "Oh my god, you can't be doing that, my mom cringe," and not like like not as in a kid way, but a very much like he's reserved. Mm. He's, he's you know what I'm saying. He pulls back when necessary or when he feels it's necessary. I, on the other hand, move forward with things, mm. and so 
No, I think he's reserved uh-huh. to a certain extent. I think he's like reserved, but like if, if you like when he's comfortable, he's not reserved. Like I think he's very like when he's comfortable, he's outspoken. Yeah. But I think if you don't know him, like if you when you meet when you're barely meeting him or when we brought him about around our friends, uh-huh. he's very respectful and very like you know. Oh, he's always going to be very. Respectful. He's very like you yeah. know like minds his manners and and people yeah. are like oh you know he's so respectful. But then once he gets to know them, like, uh, once he gets he comfortable gets around them, mm-hmm. then he lets loose and they're like, um, little kid, I'm about to, like, <laughs> <laughs> let you have it. No, no. So. But no, not that he's disrespectful. He's but, not but disrespectful. But he, uh, he just gets comfortable to where he's like a jokester. He's a prankster. So he'll he make is. jokes or he'll, he'll try to be funny. He lets loose, yeah. And it's not an offensive funny. It's just like trying to, like, you know, take a jab at somebody and the then somebody will be like, out. um, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, the kid comes out, in, uh, yeah. out of him when, he, when we're around, when he gets very comfortable. Yeah. People, yeah, for sure. But, no, I thought that was cool. I thought that was a cool thing to, to, to listen to. So I hope people, when they listen to yeah. that episode, they get they get they get a kick out of it. I really do. I really do. Because, like I said, he's an interesting kid, and he's been he's been really filling into his like he's been growing into himself. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited for him. I'm excited because I I I think I, everybody says this right outside of being his mother. I think he's a great kid. Mm-hmm. I really do believe that. Yeah. I in the, in my soul of my hearts, I really do believe that. Like even he even if he wasn't my kid, he's an interesting person. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm excited for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I take credit for that, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I no, guess I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I guess. I, look, it, mm. it 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 must be it must be a lot to be. Um, it, it must I must be a lot of a mother for him. You know what I mean? Like mm. I think I just I think he's grown into himself because I wasn't trying to be like the center of attention or I wasn't be like me, 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 me. It just, it's, I think the world just kind of, I it, life just kind of happened like that. And but you so, know, that's the funny thing about like, you, when you think about kids, I didn't mean to cut you out, but I just like, yeah. you made me think of like, uh, like you never know how they're going to, how they're going to interpret the way they grew up like yeah. around you because to you you kind of know yourself I'm, and you you feel comfortable in your own skin and you feel like you know you know what your life is but you don't know like how they're going to interpret your life yeah. through their eyes so it's weird to like see the result of that and you're like yeah. oh okay <laughs> well lately i've been having conversations about him, with him about mm-hmm. like what life was like with me yeah i've been opening up to him and like telling him like yeah this is the things this is what life was like and this is why i was the way i was and and sort of kind of apologizing for a lot of it mm. um i'm interested to, I'm, I'm interested to hear what he has to say later on when he grows up yeah to hear what he has to say about like what it what life was like living with me yeah well, I think he'll have good. I think he'll, I think he'll have good things to say. Good memories. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see. All right. So today and today's topic, Juan. Did you know it was Romantic Awareness Month for the month of August? Like the month that we're like closing out right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know because you mentioned it to me. I did. I did. You mentioned it to me earlier, and mm-hmm. I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what a, what is it? What do I Very hear? Very nice. Thank you. I appreciate you giving me the fair warning. <laughs> no, okay. So, for the month of August, um we were supposed to record this topic weeks ago, but life gets in the way, things happen, yada yada. Blah blah. blah. Um I'm so sorry if you heard really, that really, in your really. ear. Really, really, really. <laughs> so, in in during the road romantic awareness a month i was like you know what let's talk about some romantic things for example such as 12 principles you need to what <laughs> 12 principles you need to sustain a loving relationship mm-hmm. excuse I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay what are those <laughs> okay so where did you get this from like uh, gq or like uh, cosmopolitan or something no i just on the web oh Usually those are the places where you find them, like Cosmo and like all I those. I like, Cosmo to read my stuff. Like sometimes. Uh, uh, I don't know any other magazines besides that. <laughs> Vogue maybe. Vogue. I don't know. So okay, so in these twelve principles, I'm gonna go through them, but there is a topic that I do want to touch on. Um, eventually we'll get there, but we'll see where where it appears. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know what you're not talking about? What? No. Okay, we'll get there. I All don't right. think so. I'll surprise you. Surprise. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You usually surprise me, so. Yeah, I usually do. All right. So number one, relationships don't make you happy. Uh, becoming happy on your own a priority. 
making happy, make becoming happy on your own a priority. Mm-hmm. So I mean, don't depend on your relationship to make you happy. Yeah, that makes sense, don't you Absolutely, think? Absolutely, I think yeah. so. I mean, what else would it be? Right? All right. Number two, <laughs> partners cannot change their behaviors for you. They must mm-hmm. do it on their own. Yeah. The hell they can. I will make. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can, but you can point. You can point it out to them and be like, "Look." I thought you were gonna say you can point them doing, in the right direction. Like, you're doing. Well, yeah, like basically you're pointing them in the right direction. Like, yeah. look, you're doing this. You're doing this. You're doing this, and you oh, try to point it out as yeah. often as you can. Yeah. And I, I don't like this, or this is why I don't like this, and da 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 da. So it's a process. It like, is a process, but you know, I. That's why people say it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, the relationship. Is it's a lot, a lot of work, work to right. have a relationship. Number three, everyone is a work in progress. We all have challenges and issues. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes in my relationship, I tend to think that I am the one with the challenges and issues, and I forget you have them too. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh shit, that's right. Yeah, because it's easy to think about your like. It's easy, like it's easy to be like in your own head, like to only like have present like your own issues that you're facing because they're there. They feel very real to you, and you yeah. feel like you you know they're that's what you're worrying about or what you're dealing with in the moment. Yeah. And so to have to stop and be like, oh, put yourself in somebody else's shoes, mm-hmm. like takes work, takes action, takes like, you know, you have to put your stuff aside for a moment and mm-hmm. then be like, oh, okay, try to see the other person's point of view. And that's not always easy, especially like in the heat of a moment. Yeah. When you're both going through yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we tend to like sync up when we're going through it. What do you mean? Like we're both going through the, it, through different issues at the same time. Oh. And it's like, okay, this is already hard enough. Like how how okay but yeah so anyways okay number four your truth is not necessarily the truth if you invalidate a person's truth you invalidate their experience and understanding Hmm. oh my god that one (laughs) because i do tend to do that a lot in our relationship i do tend to think that my that what i feel is the truth and you should feel the same Mm -hmm. yeah yeah and you know that that guy that kind of this kind of sort of topic came up yesterday when you pointed out something to me oh, and yeah. i was like oh man that's right mm. yeah i thought about the list when you pointed out stuff to me and i was like <laughs> like you know what Juan? don't make sense all right i ain't down for that right now i ain't down for you you gotta shush it Stop um talking don't make sense <laughs> yeah change is constant so don't keep the past on life support hmm that was part of the last uh, five. Okay. Um, did I? Is, is that all I wrote for 12 principles? I only wrote five of them? Well, that's not a good start. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's change that title. Five principles that you need five. to love your mission. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, am I? We're doing a shortcut. We're taking. We're cutting seven off. And we're, gonna just gonna, we're just going to go with the top five, guys. We're we just gave gonna... you five, all right? And we gave yeah. the top five. How about that? <laughs> you ain't even got to listen to the rest of the podcast. No, please stay and listen to the rest of the stuff that we have to talk about. But there you go. Five of them out of 12. Mm. <laughs> but that's a good five, I think, mm-hmm. either way. Yeah. I don't know why I wrote this. This Okay, here is what I wrote. The person the person you've fallen in love with may not have the same preferences and values. Down the line, down the line, it's not fair to hold people up to how they felt or what they, uh, or what they, or who, like who they were in the past. Uh, you need to continue cultivating the environment of, of vulnerability. Hmm. openness support and it says let go of the past hmm. it's true sometimes we bring up past conversations or past things to each other and we hold each other up to those standards not understanding that people change yeah and i think like you know people do change and i yeah. think sometimes you i think sometimes you can surprise yourself like how like different you are from like w- not from who you used to be but i think just maybe your perspective like how your perspective can change over time yeah i think that's what they're referring and i to. think you can like i think sometimes you can surprise yourself by that like you can like you know like where you're like oh like I, is that like i think like I how think, do i how did i get here yeah. <laughs> i think part of the process though it's difficult to explain to your partner how you no longer feel the way you feel and you're hoping that they understand mm-hmm. how you no longer maybe that's not your view anymore maybe you just um sometimes it's a level of maturity and then sometimes it's just a switch something happened in your life or somebody had a conversation with you or you read something or you just i don't know maybe you just woke up and you're like maybe that doesn't make sense for me anymore Mm. and it's like how do you have that conversation with your partner 
mm-hmm. in hopes that you still align the same values in hopes that you still um quote unquote love each other enough to like still want to be Mm-hmm. And so, but it's it's I I can see how that can be difficult because a lot of the times when you talk to couples they say things like oh well I want to be with somebody who holds my same values I want to be with somebody who thinks like me who kind of is you know the same world mm-hmm. like around the same things and but the thing is like it said change is constant mm-hmm. you know like I I I, I guess deep rooted values should maybe remain the same. But maybe the way you perceive them might change, and then which in then return might change the actual relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's. I think it's hard, you know. And like, I, I'm not saying like if you're both religious and one of the you turns like atheist, right? And and you like, how do you ma- how do you navigate that? You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like sometimes it's like when like. If one person is grows, then the other person is also kind of growing. So you kind of like, um, not that you fall in line, but I feel like in a way that you, like, you're both going through, like, the, like you're both going through a common, like, uh, path. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of times what you, what one person experienced, the other person hears about, knows about, talks about, like, listens to what the other person is experiencing. Yeah. So I think when you're dialoguing like that, like, I think you can, it, it becomes more, it becomes easier to understand, like, maybe why that person is changing, why their view, points of view are, are, are shifting. The thing... Because, like, you're seeing it, you're hearing it, you're going mm-hmm. through it, you're kind of going through it with them. Yeah. yeah. I think right now, like, with the world views and especially, like, the political platforms, that that is enhancing Mm -hmm. i think a lot of people are realizing like who they like deep down inside are Mm -hmm. and how they think and the way they think and the way they feel and i've seen a lot of people talk about how they they're like i can't believe who i'm dating or my friend or or, or especially who i'm married to is not the person i thought they were well that's the thing like uh to me because i've heard that like that that you know like um a lot of couples are really like spending a lot of time with each other right now and they're like learning about each other or like that i've even heard that the divorce rate is going up yeah um and i like when i hear that i always like think back to like the fact that you and i have been like working together for a long time yeah and like we've been spending a lot of time together for a long time so i'm like Mm -hmm. uh I'm like, oh, we've been doing this. Ya nos agarramos del chongo. It's like, we've been getting on each other's nerves for a while. <laughs> I was like, we learn how to like, we le- we've learned how to deal with each other when we get on our nerves. Yeah. No, but I feel like, I guess that's a good thing. The fact that we've like, that we had spent so much time already. Mm-hmm. Like, because now when this pandemic hit, it wasn't like something new. It wasn't, it wasn't like, surprising, it wasn't yeah. like, oh, now all of a sudden we're together all the time. Yeah. It was like, no, it's just like, oh, okay. Now we're just like together more. Yeah, yeah, it's like times two. Yeah, for other people, it's like times ten, and you're like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> yeah. But I can yeah. sympathize because I think that you know it is hard when you barely are getting into that situation that you're like to getting you used imagine, to somebody. Can you imagine being in a relationship like an early relationship with somebody like less than five years, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you have to spend all of this time with them? Yeah, and you're like, oh, yeah, especially if you can't leave. But yeah. like, cause I remember, like, do you remember like when we first started do, like we're spending a lot of time together that we did have like, we Issues. did butt heads and we did like, yeah. we did like, it was an adjustment because it was hard. It was like, we weren't used to being around each other that much. But even then you still found the need to leave. Yeah. You still were like getting up and going and always on the go. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, it, and I was still here, right? Yeah. I was still kind of doing my own thing a little bit too. Yeah. But we've seen each other a lot and even adjusting to like seeing you like 30% more mm-hmm. was still a shift. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember when we when I first started like working from home full time mm-hmm. that it was like not only was it hard to get used to working from home all the time and mm-hmm. like being here and have and trying to set a schedule and trying to set boundaries and or like a, like within my work and life things. Yeah. But also, like, just, like, oh, just because you're here doesn't mean that, you know, let's go to the stores and or let's go out and, like, have spend time together during the day. Like, no, yeah. I still have meetings or I still have this. And you still have so, so it was kind of, like, you know, an adjustment. And then sometimes it was, like, 
okay, but you you can do things so you can take a break in the middle of the day if you want to. Yeah. Like yeah, and that you was can, awesome. And you can go do stuff if you want to, and then come yeah. back and work. Like yeah, or you don't have to like stick to a set schedule and, or and be would, so rigid. I, I would put you on in the car and I'd be like, just grab a laptop, let's go. Yeah. I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. And the good thing is like I like doing that. Like I like like being mobile and working mobile. Like I think I've mm. always liked that. It's always been like a thing for me yeah like um you enjoy it like today we went like i was like lately i've been feeling like very uh and like i've been feeling like a lot lethargic but i've just been like it's been like tired i don't know i think being here in this same space in this office and like every day it just kind of like it wears on you at some point and so yeah. i've been feeling yeah, like I see that I'm like, ah, oh. like, so I'll come and I'll, I'll read a book for a little bit and then I'll get up and I'll go back to work or I'll like, I'm, so I'm trying to like keep myself, my mind like, um, occupied. occupied, like engaged. Yeah. So today, like I was in the middle of writing some, some calendars for like social media and mm -hmm. you guys were going to go to the store and you guys were like, you want to go? So I was like, let me grab a notebook and a paper. And that's <laughs> the way I wrote the content while I was in the car with you guys. Oh, cool. And I was like, oh, like why do i always forget that i can do this kind of stuff on the go? if i'm if i have the luxury of working from wherever yeah like why do i always forget that i can like go back to pen and paper <laughs> yeah and be cre be more creative about the way that i spend my work thing yeah and so i'm like oh like and then when i did that mm -hmm. and we came back i was like okay i'm ready to work now i was like okay like i was very focused yeah and i'm like okay boom 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 let me knock you things out you stimulated your mind outside of the house mind you we were running like errands yeah there were errands and so i we we tend to pile we tend to like collect our errands and then we just do them all at once but it's like the simple things like it was yeah. just like we stopped at a coffee shop i talked to I, we talked to the girl at the counter like we asked her like oh what what pastry do you recommend and blah blah, blah. and it was like mm -hmm. a stupid little conversation like that well you mean in and between our er errands we went yeah. to a coffee shop just to pick up a coffee yeah yeah and then we went to the vitamin store and like i think i asked the guy about like some protein shakes and he walked around showing me yeah but it's like i think it's like you said the stimulation of those little conversations that really don't mean nothing yeah but you just miss like the, that interaction the like, mundane of like just like you know it's just like something different yeah like even yeah. listening to the music that you guys were listening to and i was like oh okay like i'm writing about like i think i was writing about like rehab and i was like y'all played amy winehouse and i was like oh okay like <laughs> <laughs> your mind went there. i was like okay like let me think more creatively yeah. about what i'm writing yeah so i think it's just like stimulation i think sometimes that i'm missing yeah so i think it's good to be able to like take that time yeah but i'm like going off like completely off no, course i, I like, like that i like the fact that maybe we can implement like still we can still verse in this when even when when the pandemic is not dissipated but it is no longer a threat and or it's less of a threat should i say yeah mm -hmm. and like i have to remind myself all the time that like you don't have to be so rigid because i like being rigid on one hand i like being rigid and i like being like you know i'm having, happy to hear you admit that like being like structured <laughs> and like having structure yeah but on the other hand like i feel like i get my most i, I get my most uh creative work done mm -hmm. when i'm not so rigid when i'm like okay you know just loosen up a little bit like go with the flow let go Juan, and let go and just let the wind take and you. just do just let things go like let things be what they are yeah or just take a moment take a step back and then like yeah, you'll definitely. see that things are gonna go like you'll you'll come back more energized yeah that's what happens yeah it's what happens when you 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 unclench yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, know, well, I wouldn't know about unclenching on Helica, but uh, you might have to tell me about that. <laughs> it, no, just, but, uh, it means relaxing. Yeah. You got to relax. You no, gotta... but I, I, like, I'm, I want to do a better job of that because I, I do want to be like, I don't want to be in that mind space where I feel like it's hard for me to like, to be sti like where I'm not, where I'm not stimulated, where I'm not, where I don't feel like my creative yeah. juices are flowing. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So you were saying like yeah, no, no, your no. point? Yeah, no, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I so like I jumped I, over all of your points. No, definitely not. I I like that. I like the fact that you went into that because I think that was very, that was interesting. Oh, okay. Hey, this is Angelica Casares. And this is Juana Lanis. Thank you so much for joining us on season two of Juana Words Podcast. You can find us on 
Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, on uh, Stitcher, Spotify, and other platforms. Uh, also on our website at juanawords.com. And we hope you enjoyed the episode that you're listening to right now. And if you enjoyed it, you can leave us a review and a thumbs up. If especially on the Apple like platform, the higher we ratings and the reviews we get, the more listeners we actually can be found by. Yeah. So. It really does. It really does help us. So uh, we really yeah. would appreciate it. A rating or a review on Apple Podcast. And uh, until next time, thank we'll see you. See you then. Bye. Bye bye. So Romance Awareness Month, right? Mm. Um, I have another list for you. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. So this one is called Things That Will Destroy Your Relationship and How to Well, just things that will destroy your relationship, basically. Mm. Um, unending insecurities having an end in, in, in insecurities like constantly making your insecurities an issue and bringing them into your relationship mm. basically mm. um you're overflowing oh you know what i'm gonna leave that one to the last because that's the one i want to talk about well read Hold it on. no 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 read it. no no read it. Just no i'm gonna a, skip over it give us a preview like right like no, read, no, no. just read it no 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 okay and then oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> and then uh one of them is envy and bitterness to be mm. envious, I guess, of your partner, Maybe and to be also. bitter about it. Mm-hmm. Another What's one. The Spanish word for bitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, did, what, what did it be? Uh, you know, envidioso and. Uh, Amargo. Uh, amargado. 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 Um, your lack of self-love. Mm. Um, your lack of confidence and independence. Mm. Yeah, I can I can relate to that one. Mm. Not the confidence, the independence. Mm. Yeah. Um, being dishonest. Mm. Lack of interest in your partner's future plans. Mm. <laughs> and both of us. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> People on the podcast listening will be like, what? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Mm. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, selfishness and pride. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've heard about those. <laughs> You've heard about those. Uh, <laughs> uh, the inability to give enough time, attention, and effort. Mm. Inability to recognize the real problem. The real Sir, problem. Sir, is that your phone? It keeps my phone. I don't know why it keeps going off. No, no, no. Leave it. Leave oh. it. People on here can listen to how much, how, how you did not turn it off. Oh. Okay. The, yeah. So the inability to recognize the real problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's easy to get, it's easy to, like, uh, to go off course, like I said earlier, in the heat of the moment, because I think sometimes when you're arguing or you're, like, having a disagreement and then you, like, you, one person, like, the conversation goes one way and, like, you're in your feelings and, like, you hear one thing and then, like, it's easy to, like, it's easy to go down a path that you're, like, oh, well, how the hell do we end up here? How do like, we get there, yeah? Yeah, how do we end up here when the conversation started about something else yeah. or the the thing that we were talking about was, like, disagreement about one thing and now we're, like you know 20 steps in and we're like what the hell like why are we so angry at each other yeah there's a yeah there was an underlining problem that we yeah. never addressed and so we're arguing about stupid yeah. things that have nothing to do with the freaking actual problem yeah and yeah you're like okay like what the hell like <laughs> what were we fighting about again yeah, this, yeah that happens a lot um the lack of understanding Mm. which is what you were saying and lastly because if you are part of this podcast you know that we like to go into detail and we like to examine our actual life and we like to dive in deep a little bit discuss it a little bit bring up a topic bring up the past dissect it Mm. and then lay it out for you for you to judge Okay, so lastly, the one I skipped over. Are you trying to make it like Judge, judge Judy or something? Eh? <laughs> eh? She Judge Judy? She's Judge... Um, <clears throat> no, what's it, what is it? Uh, who? The po- Pola? La Doctora Polo? <laughs> I don't know who Caso she is. Cerrado. <laughs> Caso Cerrado. Okay, so lastly, it's your overflowing jealousy. Hmm. So... Jackie, I mentioned which that one was. I wanted, I did. So during, when I was, I remember going into these topics and trying to look about, like just trying to like understand maybe where we fit or how much of it that we actually talk about Mm. um, within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Jealousy. And I I was like, hmm, that's an interesting topic. Mm. Let's discuss. Jealousy. Jealousy. So. There's a song, Celos. Celos de tus something something cuando celos. 
Juan, you're not, you're not even gonna like you're just sing the rock the, the song right. Because I don't know the words, I just know that there's like it's a you celos the and the no celos. Celos cuando me te 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 oh, there you go. Celos. Celos. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I singing on this podcast? You're not here to hear me sing, and I, then I'm a horrible singer to begin with. So, jealousy. Um, would you say there's been a lot of jealousy in our relationship? Absolutely. No, be serious. <laughs> be serious. I mean, I think there's been some. I don't think that. I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know that I would say a lot. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, like, what would qualify as a lot. But I think that there has been some jealousies in, so, in our relationship. So part of the jealousy, I think, sometimes is how much you yourself are not comfortable, but how much you feel like you yourself can handle. Mm. Like, in a situation that has arisen or that has become a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I think we try to have this conversation before about when was the time that I felt jealous, mm-hmm. right? And I think uh, when I try to have this conversation, I just seen you grin from ear to ear. Oh, because we've had this conversation before that. No, oh, the reason I laugh is because uh-huh. you before you've been like, I don't get jealous. Like I don't do jealousy. See, here like, we go again. And then here we go again. And then I'm uh, like, this is the problem. And then I'm like, no, I've seen you get jealous, and you're like, no, I don't do jealous. And I'm like, okay, well, no. I've seen you do jealous. <laughs> no, because I don't really do jealous. Oh, uh, okay. I do. I I can see. Not that I can see, but I don't really do jealous. I get agitated that the situation wasn't handled mm. and i have to intervene mm. and step in because mm. i can handle my emotion of jealousy mm. like i can I, without addressing it with you without like you know what i mean i can get in my feelings i can understand why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling i can you know and it's easy for me for jealousy it's easy for me to like nip it mm. it really like is nip it, like nip your own emotions about it like yeah to, like to stop being jealous yeah hmm. to stop being like so um because at some point um i feel like no tengo que ser tan creída to think that my husband's gonna like i'm gonna be the only person that my husband can have an interesting conversation with hmm. or can take even like be like um like mentally stimulated by just me hmm. you know what i'm saying hmm. like i can i like i i you know, and then, like I've told you before, I think it's a boost for you. It's a, it's like a, it's like this thing to to know that maybe you can, with the opposite sex, have interesting conversation, or feels feel like not attracted where you want to do something, but you feel like, like maybe you feel that that like you feel come at confident from it and be like, hey, I maybe I still got it. Like maybe like. Like, yeah, like, okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I think sometimes, um, I never want to be in the relationship with you, Juan, where we, like, lose ourselves, Mm. where we think, where we believe that, um, that, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and you and that, that's it. Mm. So that's not it? You and me is not it? No, like, (laughs) me and you is it as in terms of, like, as... No, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I mean it's like a, it's like a, um, yeah, it's like I guess it's like an ego boost. I guess it's like a thing of like. I don't want to like, call it an ego boost. I, well, I feel like it is. Like I okay. think it like like it is like kind of a little bit of an ego boost because you're like, oh, okay, like you know, I I'm you know I may not look so like um, you know, uh, almost what you say like I, I may not look like so like descuidado like i don't look so like mm-hmm. thrown that i'm like you know because most of the time like you know you're walking around like or lately i walk around in my warm-ups and my in my shorts and a t-shirt and i don't even worry about getting dressed up mm-hmm. so like if, if somebody were to like smile or like to, to like flirt with you a little bit then or give you more attention than normal mm-hmm. then you would do feel like a little bit of boost of confidence like oh like okay like yeah. it's like it's a, you, you know it it does feel good it feels like oh okay cool like you know not like that not like flirting but I still want you to I still want you to know that you're still an interesting person mm-hmm. and you know you don't have to rely on other people's like you never you never have to rely on other people's like perception of you mm-hmm. but because we're in a world where we talk to other people we still want to know that we still can have interesting conversations well I think you always want some re- reassurance and I think that's why like. To kind of go back a little bit to what I was saying earlier, like, that's why you kind of miss those interactions with other people. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, 
you know, you want to feel like, oh, you know, you can still have like an engaging conversation yeah. that's, you know, that's m- minute or mundane and it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. But at, like you're having this conversation that you can later go on and be like, oh, you know what? That person that was in there, you know, sh- they were nice. And, you know, they like they told me this like little tidbit of information. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, I still um, I still want you to feel like you're in a like you yourself are attractive in that manner. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I think people have this perception that, I guess, a physical sense is the only way to be attracted to people. Hmm. And I don't think that's true. Oh, okay. Are you calling me ugly? No, I'm not, baby. <laughs> I knew you were going to take it there. I knew he was going to take it there. I knew it. As soon as I said it, I knew it. Um, no, but I think that, I think, like, yeah, so, I, like, I... I don't know. So I again going back to what I was saying is that I I can I have the tendency to like to to understand where I'm coming from and what I'm saying and why I feel the way I feel and I can retract before I get like before I, I go down the road with you and be like what was that who are you talking to what were you talking about you por qué por qué uh, uh, nah, nah, nah. Mm-hmm. like I ain't trying to be that. Hmm. I, I, because then I start to lose confidence in myself and that's definitely not what I want to do. Hmm. Um, so yeah. So I, again, yeah, I mean, it definitely I doesn't, do? it doesn't feel good to be the person salandoing somebody else mm-hmm. because then you have, then you question yourself like, Oh, like, wait, why are they like, why is that person like, why am I like jealous of of something that, that my, that my partner's doing? Like, mm-hmm. am I not good enough? Or am I like, am I like, am I less than, am I this and that? And so you start questioning yourself you and that, questioning what you're lacking. Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't feel good. Like it, it doesn't feel good to have to like question yourself and be like, Oh, you know, what the hell's wrong with me? Like, why am I like mm-hmm. feeling this way? Why do I like, cause, you know, it's an ugly, it, it is an ugly feeling to have to feel that way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, I don't think it's good. Like maybe it, Maybe it's a the other person feels like oh metaselando, but like you know if it gets more than if it's more than just a little bit like a little like you know thing mm-hmm. and it becomes more of like a constant like everything like your everything you do is like the other person is like questioning you then I think it's like oh okay well that's not doesn't feel good for me and then that doesn't feel good for the person that's doing it yeah no yeah no it doesn't feel good but mm-hmm. okay so I wanted to talk about a few of the times that I felt. Um, I guess I guess my feelings came in where I was like um, I felt like I was being like it, it went further than my feeling jealousy mm. and then into me feeling like oh man what is this mm. and so can I bring up some some instances are you okay with them I don't know you you could bring them up <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I have much of a choice when we're like we're <laughs> both mic'd up already <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think one of the times that I did feel like, where I feel like I was completely, like, first of all, I wasn't there. You were down in Chicago, mm. and it was a conference, one of your first conferences, mm. and then there was somebody that you knew that was in Chicago mm-hmm. that happened to be, like, I don't want to go into detail because I don't want it to be very obvious, mm-hmm. um, because my intention is never to, to bring out, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For people like who really know us to be like, oh, I know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. I don't want to do that. Like I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, yeah, you were like in Chicago, and then somebody out there who approached you before you went out there, and then when you went out there, they were in the same conference that you were at, mm-hmm. and then they approached you. Right, they approached you, and then um, I guess the conversation kind of continued once mm-hmm. you left the conference. And you kept having this conversation. There was it was through text. It was through phone. You mm-hmm. were having phone conversations, text, and I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, you know, like it's 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 the industry. This is kind of what we do. This is it is what it is." Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden, there was a moment where I was like, "Wait, that's not right." Hmm. I think your phone lit up, hmm. and it was something acro- along the lines of like, "Oh, vas a encontrar tu media naranja," hmm. and I was like. Wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, where, where did the conversation go? Where did it come from? And I was like, and I confronted you and I was like, okay, um, explanation, please. And then you got very uncomfortable and I was like, oh God. Like, did you lead? Did you like what, what happened? Are you asking me now? No, I'm not asking. Oh, you. I was, I like, was in the moment. I was like, and in the moment I was questioning like, oh. what? 
how did we get here? How did this get here? Like, how was this? How was this an issue now with you? Mm. And I was very, I was very taken aback by it. Mm. And then I was like, okay, either my husband se hizo, se hizo bien tontito, or he knows exactly what he was doing. Mm. Mm. No, but I think like I think in in uh, I remember that time, but I think like in my defense nah. <laughs> no like i think like for me it was like i never really thought people were flirting with me even mm-hmm. when they were like i think i was always i've always one of those person that was clueless when people were flirting with yeah. me like when people would tell me things or like like smile at me or like make conversation with me and i would like somebody would tell somebody would have to tell me like oh they're flirting with you and even then i would be like no they're not <laughs> like, like i just never thought that the people were flirting with me so i don't think like i really looked at it as flirting and I think because of social media, like I tended to be like over friendly with everybody, yeah. Because I just, I just thought like, you know, it's because of the like, the whole like concept of like having a blog and like creating this online persona and being this like being like this. Yeah. Hold on, question: Have yeah. we already talked about jealousy before in the podcast? No, we did. We recorded an episode, and then we did, and then we didn't. And we didn't air it, right? We didn't air it because oh, okay. we like disagreed on the way it came like, out. Yeah, great. Yeah. I was thinking about it. I was like, wait, what? Like, I feel like this is the same conversation. Yeah, no, but it is kind of, but not really. But like, I was like, you know, I I felt like that was on you to me, so I didn't know how to be, and I felt like I had to be like over friendly, or I had to be like super accessible you to felt people. Like you had to like respond. Yeah, like I felt like I had to be accessible. Like I had to be like, um, you know, like very like open. Oh, okay, I see. So you're just making yourself easy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, what does this Cardi B song say? There's some hoes in this house. <laughs> Oh my god. No you did it. No you did it. <laughs> ah, I can't believe you did that. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's so what you were saying. <laughs> no, so yeah, I think that um I don't even know where to go from there. Um yeah, so I was I was very like I was I was questioning I was questioning. That's the first time I had ever felt like that. Like mm. I was like, it, it jumped real fast from like jealousy to like, who the fuck? Mm. What's going on? Mm. What are you talking about? And who are you talking to? And why do I need to intervene and be like, um, sir, <laughs> these are not the kind of conversations you need to be having with people. Mm. Um, I didn't. I didn't feel disrespected. Mm. Then, now I'll tell you when I did feel disrespected. Mm. Mm. Look at you. I hate it when you smile no. from ear to ear. Because I understand Cause, you. No, because I'm like. No, no, because I know. Like, I, know I, can, I don't know where you're going. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one time that you got a phone call, 3 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. I was like, sir, <laughs> what the fuck happened? What's going on? Um, yeah, that one escalated very fast. Hmm. Uh, it was it was kind of like a what would you call it like a colleague or like a passing of somebody or something or somewhere mm-hmm. and then um, where the I guess the conversation got very comfortable mm-hmm. where y'all were just having um, okay in her defense she was very pretty she was very attractive and. What does that have to do with anything? And it, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. In her defense, she was very pretty, very attractive. Mm. She was in a relationship. She was going to get married. I guess she broke up. And when she found out she broke up, she found it very in keen, inclined to call you and tell you about that. Mm. Um, I guess in a way to, like, uh, comfort her. Mm. And I was like, uh, all right. I think she's aware that she's very attractive, very pretty. Hmm. I, you know, and I was like, is he attracted to her? Probably. And then I was like, wait, wait, wait. All right, Angelica, you got to think about this real quick. You better make some choices real fast, girl. And I some was like, choices. Yes, about the way I felt. Hmm. Um, I was like, maybe he does like her. And maybe she knows that. And so she kind of was like, hey, I broke up with my, my boyfriend like at three. And I was like, I was like, oh, God, this is not going well. And so when the phone rang and, of course, I was like sitting next to you. And then I was I looked at you. I was like, what are you doing? And you're like and you like waved me off. And I was like, 
No, I'm not gonna. What do you mean? <laughs> the fuck does this mean? Waving me off. This is not happening. And I was like, okay, you know what, Angelica? I was like, you need to you just sit down, let him hang up, then you can give it to him. Mm. And sure enough, I was like, why? What happened? Like, why did. Like, y'all weren't best of friends. Like, y'all didn't have, like, my understanding. Like, we have, you have other friends who are females. Definitely. If they call you at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'd be like, yeah. You know, because y'all are friends' friends. Mm. Like, y'all are homies. Like, y'all are friends' friends. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I there's, guess. there's female friends that you have. Mm. That if they call you at 3 o'clock in the morning, I would not take offense to it. I'd be like, no, uh, she needs you. Like, she's your friend. Like, she's going through it. She definitely needs you. But y'all weren't friends friend like that. Mm. Like, there wasn't enough time for y'all to be friends in that manner. Mm-hmm. The conversations that y'all were having wasn't enough for y'all to be friends in that manner. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all weren't going out to lunches, lunches or dinners or coffees or any of that. Mm-hmm. Y'all were just kind of passing acquaintances. And I was like, whoa, hold on hold up <laughs> what's going on <laughs> but like i said there's other friends that we have definitely friends if you're listening to this like please if you need my husband at four o'clock in the morning go ahead and call him like i get it i get it this was a different situation mm. that's not what i'm saying but when that happened i was like and then you were like taken aback by it by what by the call or by you by both oh well yeah because i didn't expect them to call me that i didn't expect to call at three in the morning and then so i was like okay and then i guess i thought something was really wrong like you know like something like serious was wrong yeah but and, even uh, then why would they call you i don't know that's why i was like I, that's why i was like oh this is weird like why are they calling me at three in the morning and i guess i thought it was like something serious and then you know when you got hyped up i was like well hold on i'm trying to figure out what's going on here like and you were like and and you were like, hold on, well, no, you hold on, what's going on here? Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, uh, <laughs> so it was a very uncomfortable situation to be in. Uh-huh. Um, but they never called me again at three in the morning. <laughs> I don't think they ever called you after that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, but no, I, I mean, I think it was just like, I think what it is like sometimes, uh, I tend to, like, I, t- I tend to get, I tend to like people tend to get comfortable around me sometimes and they get comfortable with telling me things yeah uh and uh and uh, and yeah no i understand that but this one was different yeah yeah it was just it was just different like it was a different vibe Mm. it was it was just different and i was like i was like okay i don't know who's in the wrong here i don't know what's going on Mm. but again I i always have to come back to myself and my like my my actions you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like i understand that you were you would be more First of all, I was mad that you would even see the phone call at 3 o'clock in the morning and you wouldn't be like, oh, let me let it go to voicemail. I'll take care of it in the morning. Like, mm. if it's a really big deal, she'll leave a voicemail, you know, one more. But you, like, answered it and I was like, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> I was like, why in the fuck would you fucking answer the goddamn phone at 3 o'clock oh, in the morning? Dang, calm down. You, calm I know, down. I know, calm I know, down. I know, I know, I know. I'm just giving you my instance in the uh-huh. morning, like, in that moment, the way I felt. Well, I don't know, and I answered because I thought I don't know. Like, I guess like I I answered because I was like, oh, like, why are they calling me three in the morning? Like, is it something like, or, like, if there's like, is it like life and death or something or like? Yeah, but again, in life and death, why would they call you? I don't know, but I was that's why I was like. Do you have the blood same blood type? Like, what the? I don't know. Did that's y'all have I was an like, agreement or what? What's going on? No, but it's like I don't know. Like when you get a call at three in the morning, like I guess I'm I pick up the phone, like I pick up the phone, and I don't know why. Like I just I'm like, oh, if it's a, if that maybe it's an emergency, they just happen to like call me for whatever reason. Yeah. But not thinking that like it's gonna be like anything else. Like I said, like she she was a very she is. Well, I haven't seen her in a while, so I don't know. In my opinion. <laughs> Very pretty person. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? what did you think I was going to say? No, I just think it's funny that you're like, well, I haven't seen her in a while. So I <laughs> because she doesn't run in our circle. So I don't know this. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I don't know. It, just, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, like very pretty person. And I just thought to myself, like, I just, I was like, mm, is my husband... Like, did my husband give her indication that he was attracted to her, and so she felt it inclined to be like, "I'm gonna call him." But I don't think it was that. I think it was just like I don't know what it. Was. I don't know why. Like you know, 
it wasn't anything like that i don't think because you know we didn't have that relationship like that but she had to be she had to feel very comfortable well that's what i'm telling you i think like people feel comfortable like telling me things but i don't think it was like that it was comfortable to the point where like i was that i was like saying like oh yeah like you know you can call me at three in the morning or like there was never anything there like where it was anything i wouldn't even say that we had a deep friendship i think Mm -hmm. it was like that's what i'm saying we were just like we happened to like work together something th- yeah. off and on yeah but it wasn't like we had like a, a serious friendship or like a, a serious relationship but yeah. maybe it was just i don't know i don't know what it was maybe it was just the the fact that there was a more of a mentor mentee relationship no it wasn't even a mentor mentee relationship Y'all i just think so i think it was more of a mentor mentee relationship where you know uh, no no, no, I don't know. I think so because I. I'm telling you because I was a, like I was aware of the whole situation, which is why I was taken aback by it. Y'all were acquaintances. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like no, I'm not saying that we were like that. It was more like than than an acquaintance, but I'm saying that I guess it could have been like more like a almost like a mentor mentee type of situation. No, y'all were acquaintances. Okay. Y'all well, just y'all had like y'all had just occasional conversations there mm. it was it was never meant for y'all there was the relationship was never meant for y'all to get to know each other mm-hmm. or y'all never set it up that way like if she was a friend and y'all like had dinners and y'all had lunches and y'all had breakfasts and you know exactly what was happening in her life and she became very comfortable with you i would have definitely never have been bothered by the three o'clock phone call mm. never but my understanding was that that wasn't the relationship y'all had mm. and so when she called i was like Mm, did I miss something? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. I was I was starting to second guess myself. I was like, did did I like oversee something? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. But even then, I knew that you getting that three phone three o'clock phone call and then having your wife be like, "What are you doing?" Like I knew even then, like you were like, it, for me, I thought it. I hope he doesn't que no esta no se esta no se ponga sus sus este. To Harron, hmm? little little Harron thing of like, oh, yeah, she's jealous for me. Harron, what the hell? What is the kind of analogy is that? I don't know. It's so one like that you I need to learn better analogies. <laughs> yeah, I know. I suck at them. No, All but right. it, it was more like I I thought to myself, oh, does he think? Does he? Yo no quiero echarle crema tus tacos. Like I don't want you to be like, oh, he's jealous of me. That's okay. I know you're jealous. <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm playing, but yeah, yeah. I just wanted. I thought that were. I thought those were like it's just interesting because I want to hear perspectives. Hmm. Um, like what it would like what people really think about that. Like, are you okay with it? Like, am I in the wrong? Um, to, am I okay play? with it or what? Who are you asking? Are you like not you? Like people oh, who listen. To I was it. like, when? <laughs> like people who are listening. Like, are you okay with that? Ki- or do would you be okay with it? Or am I in the wrong for feel for like doing like feeling jealous of it? Or uh, do you think Juan was wrong? Do you mm-hmm. think? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're trying to get me to get hate, send hate mail to <laughs> PO box, Houston, Texas. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I, yeah. So that's I just wanted to bring up those moments, those instances where it was like, like I said, I think I tend to be in very much control of like my. Well, that that was not a very romantic conversation, though. You were talking. You said you were going to talk um, about romance, and you never did. You never that is like, part that of was romance. Not ro- jealousy that's not is romance. part of romance. It's not part of romance. Ro- jealousy is not part of romance. <laughs> it is part of romance no like you said like national romance month to me I, like you think like oh like national romance month is like being romantic with your partner like you know like thinking about things like that hey this is angelica welcome to the juana words podcast you can find us on apple podcasts spotify stitcher google podcasts youtube juanawords.com if you listen to an episode and you like what you hear leave us a review or maybe a comment or two we hope you enjoy this episode I was just saying that, like, it was this, you were talking, you said romance month, and I was like, I feel like we should end it on a more positive note than on, like... That wasn't negative. That was well, no, not negative, but I mean, it was like, yeah, but you were like, who was wrong? Do you be the judge. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess like, it is. I guess it can is. We, can we end on a, on a lighter note? <laughs> no. But, like, 
Uh, well, you 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 talk about romantic things. You tell me what. what well, I'll you talk do. about romantic things because we. Did, I felt like we went on a romantic trip this month. Like okay. Okay. that, we went on a romantic trip that I planned, mm-hmm. and I think I should get a little kudos for that. Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. now that you guys are, now that you guys are judging and you guys are like, <laughs> yeah. are like gonna go and like send and say, oh no, Juan is the one that was wrong <laughs> in that situation. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me just tell you about that. You know, we we I just wanted to share. Like we went on a little trip. Mm-hmm. This month, and we went. We ended up going to the hill country by uh, Fredericksburg, and we stayed in a nice little, like, uh, Airbnb place mm-hmm. in the middle of a ranch, in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And it's like we don't do that all the time. So, like, we don't get to do things like that all the time. Mm-hmm. Not that we don't get to, but we don't. We just have it. We, we just don't do it. We just don't do it. We yeah. just don't make a habit of doing it. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was nice just to like um, get away, get away, and do things like that. And I feel like. That's one thing that, like... Um, besides the uh, obvious things, besides, like, romantic getaways, what would you say, though? What would you say that where romantic lies with you? Well, R- oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, for me, like, I feel like I, I, I have to remind myself to try to be more... Oh, I see. Okay. To think about the other... Like, think about you more, you know? Like, I think Excuse- I have to... So you don't think about no, not me? No, not, not that I don't think about you, but, like, I think it, it's more, like, to be... To, to have, like, gestos or, like, gestures. Mm-hmm. I have to, like... Um, like, cause like I said earlier, I'm very rigid. So like, <laughs> like if it's not on my calendar, it's not on my plan. I'm like, it's not like, oh, and then, you know, all of a sudden you're like, uh, you haven't talked to me like all day mm-hmm. or like you haven't talked to me in, in like two days. We've only like said very minimum things to each other. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Like, I guess I should like, <laughs> I guess we should do more than like, just like talk about work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I guess we should be. So I think like even like little things, like, I guess like, um, like flowers or like i don't know like little things like that don't you think like maybe a song maybe like but those things are so obvious like uh, we are very untraditional people Mm. in a way yeah we're very traditional untraditional like i don't know how to explain us Mm -hmm. like we're very we're very that but we're not yeah like i won't like i don't think i'm the i don't think i'm i'm the most romantic person but I think I'm, like, mm-hmm. trying to learn how to do better. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but, like, even the way even the way I am, I'm not very receptive to traditional things. <clears throat> yeah, because I, like, remember I told you, I was like, I bought you roses before, and you are like, mm. <laughs> 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 And I'm like, what? Like, what's wrong with the roses? Oh, that's so generic. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, no, like, no, no. I <laughs> like, I, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get people to hate me now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I do, I like gestures. I definitely take in kind to gestures. But sometimes I think the things that, that definitely get me the most mm. would be like unwarranted gestures or an obvious things mm. where you, it's like, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. I snapped the him <laughs> thinking of me out of nowhere. Mm. You know what I mean? Like to me it's more it's more of that. Yeah, like I think like sometimes I like I like I know that you like certain chocolates or so then I like buy those for you. Mm-hmm. Or like um I know you like the specific tea and I like buy sometimes I like a couple times I brought you the tea. Oh, like yeah. that you like and you're like, Oh thank you and like and I can tell you appreciate that more than yeah. if I were just to bring you like oh uh, like oh I went to the grocery store and bought these flowers. <laughs> yeah, you, you, <laughs> like Oh I went to go with potatoes and by the way I picked up bro- gr- yeah. flowers for you. I mean I like the kind gesture. I definitely the fact that you thought of me when you seen them when you pass, I definitely Well what I realized over the years is the that the flowers are more for me because I enjoy because <laughs> I enjoy because okay. I enjoy looking at them and and I think like you don't get the same joy out of them like I do like because I'll like I'll like use now like I make it a habit when I go to the store I'll pick up like flowers yeah and I like putting them by the window and because I like seeing them bloom yeah like not that I'm like oh like I'm not a plant person because I can't keep them alive but, but like but they're it's nice to see them bloom and especially when you when they live for like like days, days and you're like yeah. wow like those flowers really lived a long time they were only eight bucks you know? <laughs> they were only eight dollars <laughs> <laughs> like you know they lived for a long time you know so you feel like, oh my god you just gave yourself away you're so cheap <laughs> well no because those are the flowers i'm buying for the house not for you like, <laughs> <laughs> you're so cheap okay but i was like yeah like you know you, you go to kroger and they have like seven dollar eight dollar plants and like flowers and you can just buy them and they have the little powder you can put it in the water so that yeah. they live longer yeah so like to me i like that like so now I, what i realize is i like buy those because i like them yeah but I, I realize that the things you like are more specific to you. Like you like that you like a specific green tea, mm-hmm. and if 
I bring it to you, then you're like, oh, you get excited and it makes you happy. Yeah, it Or, does. you know, like if I buy the chocolates that you like out of nowhere, you know, you're like, oh, that was nice or whatever. Yeah. Or you do these things where it doesn't even have to be purchased. But if you see something that you thought I would like and mm. you like you bring it to me or you send me a picture, mm-hmm. like those kind of romantic gestures, I'm like, God, he knows me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, he knows who I am. <sighs> <laughs> he knows me but yeah. i do i do i do take kind to that that kind of things but i think one of the um one of the things that i really do like uh that i feel like you are good at is just um like when you pop in and mm-hmm. you're like hey i'm like oh hey mm-hmm. like, what are you doing oh, yeah. like i like those mm. i like those yeah and i like it when you come look for me yeah uh-huh. yeah you know and i think like um like you're you're good at like little things like sometimes i like when you bring me you're just like make me like a meal and then you bring it in here to me or you're like and you're like here you go and i'm like oh like that was nice or like if you do like um i don't know i think you're just like you're more uh like you'll come in here sometimes and you'll just have a conversation with me mm-hmm. or you'll just hug me or like you're more like I think you're more touchy than I am sometimes, I am. I and am. like you I know touchy feely, and I and I like that because I like sometimes I'm not like my, my instinct is not immediately to go to like oh mm-hmm. let me just go give you a hug, <laughs> and yeah. like w- if you come and give me a hug then I'm like oh okay that was nice thank you mm-hmm. you know but I, it's not my initial instinct is not like I don't know why but like I just like I, in the middle of my day when I'm like doing all these things like it's mm-hmm. I'm more likely to pop in and be like hey. And like I'll give you a kiss, uh-huh. and then that's it. But I won't like you know, just be like, oh, let me just just cuddle for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can tell. I think sometimes yeah. it it takes you a little bit more time to do yeah. that. Yeah, but it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I guess I don't like in my like mind. Like it's not. I'm just like you know, like oh, I gotta go to the restroom. I gotta go do this. I gotta go do that. And I'm like you know, I'm like thinking about like what I have to do next. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I don't like. I'm not like you know. I'm I don't take a step back, and I'm not like. Okay, just like if you take five, ten minutes, if you just take like half an hour, an hour, if you whatever you, it, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You're, it's like Ouch. A, a, a delay of thirty minutes in your day is not going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. don't know. So what? But what about you? Do you think you did? What other things do you think that you do that you're that are romantic? Things that I do that I feel are romantic. I think, um, you know, the thing with me, Juan, is that I'm constantly thinking about people, mm-hmm. and so I. I romanticize everything. Mm-hmm. I romanticize like friendships. I romanticize like even my relationship with you a lot. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of the times, um, like one of the examples, just um, I've been trying to get very comfortable with myself, mm-hmm. with like me as a person. And um, I think I mentioned it on here before that I used to weigh like 220 pounds. Mm-hmm. Um, with losing some weight and my body disproportioning and getting back into proportion and mm-hmm. and all of that and i just i'm not struggling with my my weight it's i just look different than i used to look and i'm not used to it and so mm-hmm. it's a constant like trying to get comfortable with who i am mm-hmm. watching looking at myself in the mirror and stuff like this and in doing so i kind of been finding myself right and uh and in in one of those i took a picture mm-hmm. i've never done that mm-hmm Never ever done that. Never taken a picture. Like no, not like that. <laughs> oh okay, yeah. Never like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I dance and I record myself dancing and and you know whatever and 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 all of that, but never, never to the point where I'm purposely trying to be like, not sexy, but I guess. Um, Feeling yourself. It's different. It's it's very hard to explain this because it's not sexy Mm. it like it's it's i'm not trying to sexualize myself what i'm trying to do is trying to feel very in my own Mm. and like i want the confidence what i see i want the confidence to come like like reflect back on me Mm. and so that just sometimes encompasses being in my own body in my own skin Mm. and so i did I, i took some pictures Mm-hmm. Uh, I, we had a very lengthy discussion about uh, going back to jealousy. A lengthy discussion of how you came across a picture. Oh yeah. Yeah, 
And then I was like, Juan, that's not the pictures. <laughs> and you're like, well, what do you mean? I was like, here, let me show you the pictures. And you're like, send them to me. <laughs> <laughs> so mm. that's that was like, for me, that was kind of the, the romantic way of things. Mm. Wait, yeah, you could have executed that one better, but yeah. You could have executed it better. What do you mean? No, just like the co-cover, the whole debate that we had about like the like the way I found out about the picture. Like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> but I was like, they could have like it would have been like if it would have been like met differently. Met differently. Mm-hmm. Like had I been had I received them and then I'll, first like, oh first and then I've mm-hmm. been like oh okay, but no. Yeah, you tell me you're like you're like I don't know I come across pictures and it was, I was like is that my wife? <laughs> People already like this picture, and I'm really looking at it. Yeah. And I was like, "No, sweetheart, like that's not the pictures." Yeah. And it wasn't like it wasn't like uh, it was just like I, I think it was just different from what you normally post, which is why I was kind of like, "Wait, what the hell? Like, what is this?" Like, because it wasn't like the normal. Did you do a double look? You were like, "Wait, what?" But yeah, first I was like, and then I was like, "Oh, well, like, wait, what the hell? Like, that's Angelica. Like, what the hell? Like," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Like, I was like, is she working on some ad campaign that I don't know about or what? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, yeah, that, I feel like, so I'm when like, we, well, I was looking for the sponsored somewhere, I was like, wait a minute, are we getting paid for this or what? <laughs> no, so in the heat of, in the heat of the, <laughs> stupid, <laughs> in the heat of, of that, ar- if not that argument of that discussion. Um, I was like, if we're securing the bag, then okay, but like. <laughs> no. Oh my God. You need to lay off of Cardi B and the Atlanta. To women, the housewives, you gotta stop one because too much slang, too much slang. No, it has nothing to do with the slang. I don't think you understand what you're saying. Oh, I know, I'm just playing. Okay, so, anyways, so like I said, I was uh, in in the moment, like I showed you the pictures. I was like, no, 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 these are the pictures. Mm-hmm. These are the pictures. Like you looked at them and you still wanted to be upset about it, and you looked at them and you're like. Well, that's not right. I'm saying, like, you were like, like looking at him, and I was like, mm. and then even like in your, in your, even in your anger, even in your frustration, you're like, send them to me. Yeah, because if you're like, you're, I'm like, I, I might as well have them, or no, shouldn't I? Like, weren't, weren't they for me to begin with? <laughs> well, they were for me, but I don't mind sharing it with oh, you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I, I, not like you're the only person that comes up, that goes into my pictures. Like, of course, if you see them. No, I know. I'm messing with you. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, I thought we were going to end on a lighter note, but I guess we kind of did. <laughs> no, it, it, we did. We talked about no, dram- know, romantic messing. gestures. What better romantic gesture did you want from me than to send you some nice pictures? Hmm. I'm not going to answer that, but... <laughs> no, we got to end there. No, yeah. no, no. I don't know where you're going with that. Yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, guys, thank you for listening to this episode. Uh, we uh, have missed you guys, so thank we're back. And, yeah. and uh, if you want to follow us, as always, you can go find us as one of words on the podcast and on all the social media. And if you like this episode, leave us a rating and a review on the Apple Podcast. We really would appreciate it. But if not, um, not if not, but do leave us a review. And until do next time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also we're on Facebook and we actually upload the actual visual version of it. Yeah, there. we do. So if you want to, if you're on Apple and you want to visit us over on Facebook, Quantum Words, doc, Quantum Words backslash Facebook, Quantum Words. Mm-hmm. And on YouTube, you can also find us. So Quantum Words anywhere. Yeah. But Facebook and e- Facebook and YouTube, you can actually watch us like while the we're, entire conversation. while we're having this conversation, you can not only listen, but you can watch us if you want to. <laughs> yeah all right and so with that um we hope you enjoyed this conversation and we'll see you on the next episode bye bye